What's up, my people? You're not tuned in to me TV. Now, we're going to bring you all the stories about the stories that we need to bring you stories about. You feel me? So, that's what we're going to do. Some stories might be good. Some story might be tragic. But, hey, man, that's how these stories go. I don't make it up. Now, we getting into it. You feel me? So, before, look, man, bang the like button. Bang that subscribe button. You see them on the screen. Yeah, them right there. Hit the like and subscribe, man. Hit that right there. Now we about to get started with our story. Yo, yo, yo. You already know I'm back with another one with me, TV 1.0. You hear me? Look, I need you to hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit the comments, man. Show me some love. Give me a sub. You already know. Share this with your people. You already know. Look, man. Today, we got another one. You heard me? So, we going skirt. We going to Alabama. You feel what I'm saying? We going to go slide to Alabama and see what's happening with this uh honeycomb brazen situation. You feel me? This is a crazy situation. And I see a lot of people saying, oh, this was a setup. J Prince, Mob Ties, and all this and all that. But y'all got to think a little deeper. When you are owner of a record label, when you own a record label, it's all about making money. It's all about capitalism, capitalizing on a product that you have. And in this case, the product is the rapper. So why would I send my money, my cash collar? You know, if y'all know anything about Honeycomb Brazy, y'all know he got a how could I say he got one of those boosty type of fan base, real loyal, loyal fan base. You feel what I'm saying? So I, they they shouldn't want to see him in jail. You feel what I'm saying? Now a lot of people saying, yeah, they put him in jail. They set him up because they're trying to control him, Illuminati or whatever, whatever. But in a case, I could see that. You know what I'm saying? Because we got so much conspiracy theories going on out here. But in this case, I think it was something just due to the negligence of the driver the driver in this case the driver he was prohibited to have firearms due to the fact that he had a restraining order something that happened in his personal life now mind you i want y'all to understand this but this is in a rest report as well i want y'all to understand this man has been used by honeycomb brazy previously but he didn't tell anybody that this had went on. He had a court order to where he couldn't, he was prohibited to be around guns for one whole year. And it started in September of this year and ended in December of next year. You feel what I'm saying? But he broke that. He broke that prohibited court sanctioned situation. Not only that, Honeycomb Brazy is a convicted felon. Not only that, they had also had another convicted felon from Houston in the back seat with Honeycomb Brazy. Now, I understand he was talking a whole lot of stuff about uh, finesse two times and all this stuff for uh, Jay Prince and all this. And Jay Prince Jr. even to the point where he had to go sit down with the big man and, you know, apologize and see things clear. You know what I'm saying? Because Honeycomb Brazy is a loose cannon. But one thing I can say about Honeycomb Brazy, Honeycomb Brazy is very, very talented. You feel what I'm saying? Now, me personally, me personally, I think it was just out for Honeycomb Brazy. It's crazy how you get him out or he's released from jail. And then a day or two later, y'all bring him back to jail for a situation that happened in jail. Now, let me tell y'all something. For those of y'all who are not familiar with the jail system or the judicial system or the cricket cop system, whatever, whatever. Fortunately, but unfortunately, I had spent some time in a little system to about three years or whatever like that. And let me tell you, when these people want you, they want you. They want you. That's why they're not sending him nowhere else or letting him go to another state once he once he get released that's why because they felt like 
the last case, the last case they wanted him gone. So that's why they, they that's why they don't want him to go to any other states because they still got a, a laser eye focus on this man. You feel what I'm saying? That's why everything like this has happened recently. You feel what I'm saying? And this is a crazy situation, but uh, this is a crazy situation, but that's just how it goes when you young, black, and successful. And not only that, he's a definitely a loose cannon for sure, for sure, for sure. But let me take you on the other side of this whole situation for the next two times. Now, yeah, this this is about Honeycomb Brazy too. And it's crazy to me how the next two times is not all of a sudden happy or glad or excited that this man is incarcerated. Now, let me just tell you what's real. Let me just tell you this. That's some pussy shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's some fake ass pussy ass shit. And that's just what it is. Excuse my French. You feel what I'm saying? But when this man was out antagonizing you or saying whatever he was saying, you was quiet. You was more quiet than a church mouse on Sunday. You feel what I'm saying? So why are you coming out talking all hard and all gangster? When you had the opportunity to get on that lie and set everything straight, you chose to talk about your brother, no love. You chose to down talk your brother instead of down talking an individual. Man, look, man. Hit the like button, man. You made it this far. Hit the subscribe, man. Show me some love. Give me a sub. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Do that. But yeah, you chose to go off on your brother. That didn't make no sense. That didn't make no sense at all. This person is is antagonizing you, my G. Yeah. And you don't want to say nothing about him. You don't want to tell him nothing. But when he get locked up, you got everything to say. And meanwhile, the brother... No love, but that's two time, brother. You feel what I'm saying? Pulled up on Honeycomb Brazy Mom. Boy, that is a. How, how could I say? In the hood, dog, you will get unalive for something like that. Because now you sending subliminal messages like, I know where your mom at. If I want, I can get her. Like, and you know, these little dudes nowadays, or these clowns of character nowadays, they don't got no moral respect. Leave people out of it who out of it. If they're not in it, don't put them in it. You feel what I'm saying? That's just how it go. Unless that's just your boys that you hang with, that you chill with, or something like that, then cool. You know, they in it. They they fair game. You feel what I'm saying? They opposite just as well as you. But for you to do something like that, like, come on, dog. You That's a recipe for disaster. And ain't no telling why he really got into it with his brother. He say this, he say that, or whatever. But that's two times. But next two times, has showed me he is a clown, regardless of who like his music or how good his music may be. He has shown me that he's a clown. But that's two times is not my vibe. I'm sorry. And Honeycomb Brazy, don't get me wrong, I'm not on that oppity op slide stuff. I'm not on that. But he do make some good music. If you really listen to him, he got a real good content, lyrical content. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't like, oh, something's in my nose, but I don't like the fact that he got this man jammed up and this man just came home. But I tell you this much, you know what I mean? I'll be back with some more, for sure. You already know, me TV 1.0, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. I'm going to be switching it up from the faceless to faceless, what I mean by that, some days I'm going to come on here like this, live in a living color, and sometimes I'm going to just give y'all the story, you feel what I'm saying? So, take my bad. Like, comment, subscribe, you already know. You heard me, me TV 1.0, yeah.